Hello you lovely people and welcome back to my channel Cook with Joy. For today's recipe video I wanted to share this recipe that I recently found on Instagram Reels and y'all this recipe is amazing. I don't remember exactly what he called it. It was something like miso tahini sweet potato bowls. Uh, I can definitely link his website or link to this recipe on his website down in my description box below so that you can follow his recipe exactly. Um, that is what I used to make this recipe and I'm tweaking it a little bit um, just because of the ingredients that I have on hand. Um, but I wanted to share this with y'all because this is so, so good. Um, we all loved it too. It is kind of like a Buddha type bowl, but there's a little spin on it. Um, unfortunately, I am making this like on the very last day of our grocery shopping week. So um, one of the items was this broccolini. And usually my fruits and vegetables do pretty well for an entire week, but for whatever reason, this broccolini did not survive very well this week. So I'm gonna have to cut off the pieces that I'm able to cut off, um, which doesn't look like a lot. So I also grabbed what's left of our broccoli, regular broccoli from this week. So I'll just um, substitute that even though it does call for broccolini. Um, but let me show you the ingredients that go into this recipe it's multiple steps. It's not the easiest recipe to make, but what I told my daughter is I think over time it's going to get easier. Um, this is only my second time making it. So you're making it for the second time with me, but I think over time the steps will get more like, uh, kind of like muscle memory. <laughs> um, so let me show you the ingredients for all the different components of this Buddha bowl. Okay, before I get into showing you these ingredients, I did just wanna hop on here really quick and interrupt and let you know that this is a collaboration. This is a favorite recipe collaboration with my friends Rob and Sumner from Rob and Sumner Cooks. And today's recipe that I'm sharing with you, it is one of our favorites right now. It's a new recipe to us, but we are really enjoying it for this summer. And I will be sure to link Rob and Sumner's channel in my description box below, along with the playlist if you want to get some more recipe inspiration from everyone else who will be joining and sharing their favorite recipes. So for the base layer, which is the, um, it's like whipped sweet potatoes, you will need um, three sweet potatoes, obviously. And then it does call for one bulb of garlic, but in the end, you don't need the full bulb. It's just, that's how he says to roast it. And here I have a half a bulb left over from earlier this week. And so I just stuck that, um, you just cut the top off and add some um, olive oil on top to roast it in the oven. Um, so I just went ahead and prepared that already. And then you will also need half a cup of tahini, one tablespoon of maple syrup, two teaspoons of miso paste, one half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then salt and pepper to your liking. I know this sounds so unusual, y'all. Um, I've never heard of these types of sweet potatoes, tahini and miso. Sounds unusual, but y'all, these are so good. Okay, and for the vegetables, um, like I mentioned, you need two stalks of broccolini. Unfortunately, mine don't look amazing, and so that's why I'm also going to be adding this regular broccoli. You need one 15 ounce can of white beans, great northern beans, cannellini beans, however you wanna call them, just white beans. Um, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. I know this just says paprika, but it's actually smoked. Here is a little um, piece of information about me. I actually don't own regular paprika. I only own smoked paprika, and so that's why that's what that says. 
um, half a teaspoon of salt, one fourth a teaspoon of black pepper, and one fourth a teaspoon of dried basil. Lastly, the topping we're gonna make is this pecan topping. Tell me what you call it. Do you call it pecan or pecans? I call it pecans, so that's what I'm saying. One cup of pecans, two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of maple syrup, one tablespoon of garlic chili paste. I don't have garlic chili paste on hand, but I do have this Korean chili sauce, and this tasted amazing in this recipe, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. And then one tablespoon of rice vinegar. Okay, I'm gonna start with the sweet potatoes because they actually need to cook in the oven for close to an hour. It says 50 to 55 minutes. And then in the last 15 to 20 minutes is when you'll throw that garlic bulb in there so that you can make the roasted garlic. But um, what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them in half lengthwise. I think they might cook faster that way, um, but I'll still pierce them. Um, and you can actually, if, if you don't have the, that kind of time to wait for them to cook, you could just peel them, cut them up into cubes and boil them. But I recently learned from this recipe that they actually are more flavorful if you bake them in the oven versus boiling them. So I feel like I'm always going to bake my sweet potatoes now, but let me go ahead and get these prepped and ready to get put in the oven. Okay, while the potatoes and garlic are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the broccoli, and basically I'm just going to chop it up. I'm going to saute it in some oil just until it gets a little bit charred, and then I'm actually going to be steaming it, adding some water, and then putting the lid on to let it cook down. And then after that, I can add the beans and the spices to that whole mixture for kind of that middle layer. So let's get into working on that. chop them. Um, these are pecan halves, but I just want them to be a little bit smaller pieces. And basically you're just gonna kind of toast them. You wanna be sure to watch them closely because you do not wanna burn your pecans. But then after you toast them a little bit, um, just in a saucepan over some medium heat, then you're gonna add the other ingredients into the pot with them and just cook it until they're kind of like caramelized a little bit. So let's get working on the pecans. are almost done and now I'm gonna go ahead and put together the sweet potatoes so basically you're just gonna um, carefully peel off the skin and then you're gonna mix them with all the other ingredients in a bowl and I'm just gonna use a potato masher to do this and then we'll get to assembling this delicious dinner
lovely people. You know what time it is? It is time for me to give this dish a try. Okay, let me get a good bite here with all the parts. Okay. All those flavors combined. This, this dish is absolute chef's kiss. Vegan, gluten-free, healthy, delicious. What more could you ask for? Okay, you lovely people. I hope you enjoyed seeing my favorite recipe for this summer, this miso tahini sweet potato bowl. <laughs> And don't forget to check out the playlist linked in the description box below for even more inspiration on different recipes that you could make for this summer. But as always, I really appreciate you watching until the very end, and I will see you next time. Bye!